undergoing a season of change. This change demands that we look carefully into the witness of the future. And let us not be afraid to accept the new or to retain the old, but let us face the future with a Texas Democratic Party which is alive and vital, a party whose strength is forged by the fires of diversity, whose wisdom is derived from years of experience, whose enthusiasm and idealism is stirred by the legions of the young, and whose human, human concern is strengthened by the participation of men and women from every background. Let us face not only the months and weeks ahead, but the years ahead, with a united party whose doors are closed to no one and whose mind is open to any good idea. Let us, as we meet in convention today, put aside whatever differences might divide us. Those things which bring us together are so much more important and more vital than those things which might pull us apart. When this convention has come to an end, let us leave here in a spirit of unity and harmony. Let us work together for Texas. Thank you. The dignity of the individual human being is our central concern. It is the central concern of all well-meaning persons in our society. That is why we protest injustice. That is why we seek compassion and dedication in our leaders. That's why we're Democrats. Let's join together in an effort to ensure reason, decency, and respect for the individual in Texas. And the only way we can do this is to work together to elect Dolph Frisco governor, Barefoot Sanders senator, and George McGovern, President of the United States. Thank you. Now, while it is a fact that middle income and working people in this country are having a hard time even keeping up with the cost of hamburger and the loaf of bread that we have to buy, those executive pay raises that I've just referred to are fully ample to cover even the inflated cost of a Cadillac or a yacht or the lobsters or all the rest that go with that standard of living. And I can understand why the president of General Motors says that he prefers Nixon approach to George McGovern. I don't think that now, glorifying people such as Ramsey Clark is something you might expect from the McGovern radicals who want to slash our military muscle to a level that would invite aggression and cripple the oil industry at a time when we're facing an energy crisis. McGovernism would bring this country to its knees and not in prayer. I think we will win this election for several reasons. First, because this time we have a united Democratic Party, and we're not going to put up with 11 more years of a part-time, do-nothing, party-line Republican senator who was a fluke in the first place. I think we're going to win this election because the people of Texas don't like coattail riders and me-tooers, and that's what power is.